the apostle of our time, our father in the Lord, Pastor W.F. Kumi. You are welcome, sir. Praise the Lord. At those state, I said, Praise the Lord. For those who are coming for the first time, I welcome you to Deeper Life Bible Church Campground, Bini City. And all our leaders all over Nigeria, all over Africa, and beyond Africa, you are joining Bini City Deeper Life tonight for our leaders meeting. Whatever problem you are brought here tonight, nothing is too big for God. No mountain too big for God. No sickness too difficult for God. Miracle. Somebody shout, Miracle. You will see. You will feel. You will possess. You go out of this place tonight with joy. Somebody is already happy over there. Father, in Jesus' name, we bless your name tonight. We thank you, Lord, because you are here present with us. Your people are here. Our leaders and pastors are here. Overseers are here. Our leaders and workers are here. Our members are here. Our invitees whom we love very much, they are here tonight. Everyone is full of expectation. Each one will conquer. That spirit of the conqueror, you grant to everyone tonight in Jesus' name. Let power flow into every life. Let anointing break every yoke and destroy all the works of the devil. Set the captives free. Strengthen the believers. Uplift our leaders. Inject us with supernatural injection from heaven. Do something marvelous in every life. In Jesus' name we pray. Another Edo State, amen. Thank you and God bless you. Tonight you've seen the post already. And you've seen the handbill. And you, if you have the program in your hand, you will see there. We came to conquer with Christ. Somebody there said we came to conquer with Christ. Tonight I want to show you the power to conquer. The opportunity of conquering. What are we talking about? Everyone here. I'm talking about you there. What are you? You are, you are to become a conqueror. A conqueror over sin. Over sickness. Over evil spirits. Over Satan. You will conquer. A conqueror in life. A conqueror at work. A conqueror in your community. A conqueror in the world. The world will not conquer you. Somebody out there, you become a conqueror tonight. A conqueror over curse. A conqueror over idols. A conqueror over every yoke. A conqueror over every enemy and adversary. A conqueror over adversities of life. Tonight, you will learn 
and you will know how to be a conqueror. A conqueror over sale. A conqueror over society. A conqueror in every circumstance and situation. A conqueror over superstition and tradition. Tonight, you are a conqueror. A conqueror at school. A conqueror in service. A conqueror in our stewardship as leaders. A conqueror in soul winning. A conqueror in the ministry. You will conquer in Jesus' name. Tonight, I am talking to you. I don't want to say I'm preaching to you. Sometimes, the way we take preaching, it's like a classic thing that is there. And then we store it out. It goes over our head. But tonight, I'm going to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with you. God will put victory in your hands. And he will say, we're not preaching, I'm talking to you. I'm saying, come on here. Go this way. I said, go this way. Your victory is there. Your success is there. And then I put heaven's label on your forehead. The overcomer. The overcomer. Satan will see you and see the overcomer. Evil power, evil spirit will see you. And what they see on your head, the overcomer. The spirit of the champion will come upon your life. Somebody there, an overcomer. A militant, triumphant believer. That will overcome come everything how does it happen how can you be an overcomer how can you be a conqueror let me read this wonderful story to you in first samuel chapter 5 i'm reading from verse 1 first samuel chapter 5 verse 1 and the philistines took the ark of god and brought it from Ebenezer unto Ashdod. That ark of God among the children of Israel was the representation of the presence of God. Anywhere they carried that ark, enemies will be falling before them. Anywhere they carry that ark, the presence and the power of God will be there. The Philistines took that ark because Ophni and Phineas were not living right. Because Eli, their father, was not doing well. And so they lost the ark. And the Philistines thought, we have overcome. And so they took the ark of the covenant of the Lord. And when the Philistines took the ark of God, they brought each into the house of Dagon and uh, set it by Dagon. I'm showing you something tonight. The high priest was not there. The prophet was not there. The pastor was not there. The preacher was not there. Nobody was there with the ark. But the ark represented the presence of God. And so they put that ark beside Dagon. Dagon. Now, one word, one letter is missing for you to understand. If you put an R after that D, that is dragon. Dragon, Dagon. 
They came from the same family of Satan. And they represent Satan. They represent the powers of evil. They represent occultism. They represent evil power. They put the ark of God beside Dagon, Dragon, Satan. Look at verse 3. And when day of Ashdod arose early on the morrow, behold, Dagon was falling upon his face to the earth before the ark of the Lord. It was the presence of the Lord that conquered Dagon. The presence of the Lord in your life will conquer that dragon today. Will conquer that sickness today. Will conquer that evil spirit today. I'm so happy to inform you that your blind eyes will open tonight i'm so excited as i see that lame man there i want to proclaim to you you will jump up and rise up tonight in jesus name i'm happy to tell that person there with that tumor in your body and in your life this dagon of a mountain in your life will vanish away tonight it says Dagon fell upon his face before the ark of the Lord and they took Dagon and set him in his place again and when they arose early on the morrow morning behold Dagon was falling upon his face to the to the ground before the ark of the Lord and the head of Dagon and both the palms of of, uh, of his hand were cut off upon the threshold. And only the storm of the of Dagon was left to him. Your day has come. It's the day of victory. It's the day of the conquering power. By the presence of the Lord. Now I read that to you in the Old Testament. For you to understand. Anywhere the presence of the Lord is. Dagon must fall. Dragons must fall. Satan must fall. Sicknesses must go evil powers must, cr must be crumbled we crush all those evil powers by the presence of the Lord look at John chapter 14 understand the ark contained the mercy seat as well as the law of God everything representing God now in John chapter 14 verse 23 and Jesus answered and said unto him if any man love me he will keep my words listen to this and my father will love him and we will come unto him and make her abode with him when you give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ you become a believer you love God you have the grace to obey the word of God and then Jesus said my father and myself I and my father will, will come will enter into you and make our abode our residence our habitation 
inside you. So, anywhere you go, if Dagon is around, and the Almighty is inside you, and the great of the heavens and the earth inside you, and Jesus inside you, and the healer inside you, you have power inside you, Dagon from today will fall from your life. Dragons from today will fall beside you. Just by staying there. No pastor there. No priest there. Nobody there. But because you are more than the ark of the covenant. And the Lord is inside you. All those powers of darkness will fail and fall before you. Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8, I'm reading from verse 11. Romans chapter 8, verse 11. Look at what it says now. As it talks about you having the presence of the Lord inside you. For if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, the spirit of the living God so mighty and powerful irresistible so great raised Jesus Christ from the dead it says if that spirit dwell inside you Tonight something will happen. Headache will go. Your problem will go. Insanity will vanish away. All those evil things you know, they'll vanish away. If the spirit that raised up Jesus Christ from the dead dwell inside you. He that raised up Christ from the dead shall also, shall also, shall also quicken your mortal body by the spirit that dwells in you something is going to happen because of the presence of the Lord and the power of the Lord it says in 1st Corinthians chapter 6 1st Corinthians chapter 6 I'm reading from verse 19 and verse 20 it says watch no ye not that Ye, your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you. Which ye have of God, and ye are not your own. For ye are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. He says, Don't you know? that the spirit of God abides in you and so you are like that ark of the covenant the father lives in you the son of God abides in you the Holy Ghost lives in you and then you go and you're side by side with somebody that has magic occultism, evil power whatever it is that they gone in there will fall before you Look at First John chapter four. First John chapter four. I'm reading from verse four. Ye of God, little children. You have repented, ye of God, little children. You are going to repent tonight, ye of God, little children. You are coming to Christ tonight, ye of God, little children. You want to be born again tonight, ye of God, little children. You are inviting, you are inviting Jesus Christ to our tonight, ye of God, little children. And you abide in Christ tonight, ye of God, little children. Then he tells us in that chapter 4 verse 4 and have overcome them. 
and have overcome them. I'm looking at that one of overcomer right there. I'm looking at the overcomer right there. If you belong to Christ, you will overcome. You are going to overcome them. See, you are going to overcome. Sickness, you are going to overcome. Evil spirit, you are going to overcome. Demons, you are going to overcome. Because you have got little children and have overcome them. Look at this. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Make it personal. Greater is he that is in me. I can't hear my people. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. What's the secret of having the overcoming power? The conquering power. All you need to do is allow him to be present in your life. And then to abide in him all the time. And make sure that you have received Christ. If you have not received Christ, tonight is your night. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And once you call on the name of the Lord. And he is in you. And you are in him. No enemy will stand before you. No evil power will stand before you. And you will discover tonight no problem is too great for our God. He has come to set you free. He has come to deliver you. What do I do? What do you do? What are we going to do? So that this power will be in us. And you will be a conqueror. Three things. One, two, three. After that, you will overcome every problem. Number one. Abide in his presence. You see, all, that's all you need to do. And carry his presence everywhere you go. So that when sickness comes, they will not meet you shallow and empty. They will see the presence of God there. And as there any attack, any affliction, any challenge, any difficulty, any problem, any any issue coming against your life, you will meet the presence of God in your life. Like Dagon fell, everything will fall under your feet. Number one, abide in his presence. Number two, no giver. abstain from the pollution. Abstain from the pollution. You see the children of Israel. The devil knew. Nobody could conquer it. The sons of Eli to misbehave. They were polluted, and because of the pollution, they lost the victory. You see, that's why Balaam could not, could not conquer the children of Israel. As long as the presence of the Lord was in Israel, Balaam, with all his curses and all his charms and everything, could not conquer them. That's why he introduced pollution to the children of Israel. And when those pollutions came, then they were conquered. From today, you will not be conquered. I say from today, you are going to be victorious. You are going to be an overcomer. And every time you come to church, there will be a testimony coming from your mouth. You are a testimony yourself. What are you there? Testimony. I say testimony. I see you lining up tonight. I say, what have you come for? You say, Pastor, I have a testimony tonight. I got a miracle. I got a miracle. 
I got a miracle. Abstain from the pollutions. Number three, abound in his plenitude. That's what plenitude means plenty. It means fullness. Abide in his plenitude. Number one. What's number one there? Tell me out loud. Abide in his presence. Hey, look at this in Psalm 16. I'm reading from verse 11. Thou will show me the path of life. David was talking to the Almighty God. And he's talking on your behalf as well. The Lord will show you the path of life. In thy presence is the fullness of joy. In thy presence is the fullness of joy. That's why you abide in his presence. Because there will be fullness of joy. In thy right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. If you want pleasures every time, you want rest every time, you want peace every time, you want the goodness of God every time, you want a miracle life every time, you want victory every time, abide in his presence. Because in his presence, there is fullness of joy. Look at this. In the presence, there is anointing. You come to the presence of the Lord. We know the Lord is here tonight. I said the Lord is here tonight. And as he's here tonight, there is anointing that breaks every yoke. In his presence, there is the anointing that breaks the yoke. In his presence, there are blessings and benefits. A blessing is coming your way. You cannot come to the presence of the Lord and go back empty handed. The blessings you are looking for. The blessing of healing. The blessing of salvation. And the blessing of childbearing. I see you there. A miracle child is coming your way. There is anointing. There is blessing. In his presence there is courage. In his presence, there is courage. When we come in the presence of the Lord, we don't fear any enemy. We don't fear any occultic power. We don't fear any adversary. We're not, we're not living our lives in fear and cringing. Because we carry the presence of God about. As we're going on the street, and that evil person is coming, you remember greater is he that is in me somebody there greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world in that person because of that in his presence there is anointing in his presence there is blessing in his presence there is courage in his presence there is deliverance don't you see all those people that came to the Lord Jesus Christ he said, the spirit of the Lord God is upon me. And he has sent me to preach the gospel to the poor. And deliverance to the captives. And all the people that came to the presence of Jesus, captivity went away. Tonight in his presence, there is deliverance. There is endowment of power. In the presence of the Lord, it will be coming like dews from heaven. And then it will refresh your life. It will restore your life. It will renew your life. There's a endowment of power here tonight. As you come to the presence of God, you're saved and sanctified. And you're saying, I'm waiting for the power of the Holy Ghost. That power will envelop you tonight. That power will submerge you tonight. The Holy Ghost will come upon your life tonight. In his presence, there is favor. He will favor you tonight. 
I said they will favor you tonight. Sadness will go away. The sorrow will go away. Your tears will go away. In his presence, there is grace. Where can you find grace? It's in the presence of the Lord. You know, some people they say, I'm too bad, I cannot come. I'm too dirty, I cannot come. I'm an evil person, I cannot come. I'm a backslider, I cannot come to the meeting. I'm a sinner, I cannot come. You need grace. You need favor. And in the presence of the Lord tonight, there is grace. He will forgive your sin. He will forgive your backsliding. I've taken a wrong step. I'm going the wrong direction. You need the grace of God. He will smile on you tonight. But if you run away from the presence of God, the grace will not come. Come in. Say, oh Lord, I'm not qualified. I'm a bad person. I'm a wicked person. I'm a criminal. I'm only asking for the grace of God. In his presence, there is help. He says, you come boldly to the throne of grace. And to have help in the time of need. Help is coming for you tonight. Somebody out there said, help is coming for you tonight. In his presence, there is inheritance. The inheritance of the saints. Everything you have lost in your personal life. Everything you have lost in your family. An inheritance is coming to you tonight in Jesus' name. I read it to you already in the presence of in the presence of the fullness of joy. 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 You want joy? Joy in your heart. Joy in your soul. Joy in your family. Joy on your market. Joy in your business. Joy in your profession. Everything you thought joy. Joy, joy, joy. In the presence of the Lord, sorrow, sadness, gloominess, everything is gone. In his presence, there is kindness. You cannot find kindness like you find in the presence of the Lord. That's why we invited you. That's why the Lord is inviting you. He says, come, because in the presence of the Lord, there is kindness. In his presence, there is love. Love without discrimination. Love without partiality. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him will not perish but have everlasting life. In his presence there is mercy. There is mercy. What is mercy? Mercy is you deserve punishment. God says no. I have mercy on him. I take his punishment away. I'm going to make him my own child. It's mercy that saves us. It's mercy that forgives us. It's mercy that takes condemnation away. It's mercy that shows the forgiving grace of God in your life. In his presence, there's nurture. Look at that little baby in the presence of the mother. The mother will nurture her. Will nourish her will feed her so that she can grow in the presence of the lord there is opportunity from this day open doors have come before you i said open doors he said the door open before you that nobody can shut you go to the right opportunity is there you go to the left opportunity is there and everywhere you go from tonight from tomorrow morning 
doors will open before you once you have jesus christ in your life i give my life to jesus i want him to live inside me i want to carry his presence everywhere i go and then in the presence of the lord there is peace he is the prince of peace you are in turmoil you're in confusion you don't know where you're you at a crossroad it's like all the time i'm confused i'm confused what am i going to do once jesus comes in your heart tonight the peace of god will rest in your soul in his presence there's quickening that's why it says if the spirit that traced up jesus comes from the dead he dwells in us he gives us his presence it will quicken our mortal body every part of your body will come alive tonight in his presence there is redemption that's how we get redemption he died for us on the cross of calvary you didn't have the redemption because you are far away but when you come i said when you come you are coming to christ tonight somebody there said you are coming to christ tonight and you come to the presence of the lord jesus christ he will redeem you from all iniquity and redeem you from all the harassment of the devil in his presence there is strength how do you become strong to be strong in the grace of the lord and strong in the power of the spirit just come to the presence of the lord just stay in the presence of the lord strength will come in his presence there is treasure you see all the things you're looking for the things you treasure you're seeking for you cannot find you are going to make a discovery tonight because precious things will come into your life in his presence there is understanding you know you've been reading the Bible I didn't understand that and you've been reading reading I didn't understand that you didn't even understand life you didn't understand yourself. You didn't understand your circumstances. As so you come to the presence of the Lord tonight, understanding will flood your life. In His presence, there is victory. Every battle you fight, if the presence of the Lord is with you, you are the winner. Where is the winner there? in the presence of this victory people are looking for victory they run there they run to the mountain they run to the valley come on now come to the presence of the lord you'll be more than a conqueror in his presence there are wonders you'll become a wonder from tonight people will look at you you used to be a weak, anemic person. You used to be a timid, fearful person. You were frightened by the shaking of the leaf. You were frightened by the charming of the birds. You were frightened by little, but you were frightened by an old woman. But now you come to the presence of the Lord strength has come courage has come ability has come and then people look at you you'll be a wonder to the world you'll be a wonder to your neighbors when those blind eyes are opened you used to look for somebody to lead me and guide me here and there but now your eyes are opened i'm talking to somebody there tonight your eyes are opened and then you move about you are free people will look at you and wonder where did you get the miracle take me there and then you bring them here they'll get their own miracle in the presence of the lord there is excellence 
excellence. You know, when I was uh, a teacher, I used to mark the papers of my students. Some will get failure. That's not you again. Some will get average. That's not you again. Some will get pass. You have gone beyond that today. Some will get good. That's not even good enough for you now. Some will get better. And some will write best. And then I look at this one. I'm looking for him. I look for this one. I'm looking for her. I say, I can. this one is more than good. This one is more than better. This one is more than best. I call this one. It will come upon your life in Jesus' name. In the presence of the Lord. When Christ enters into you. When Christ lives in you. When Christ is moving powerfully in you. There will be youthfulness. Youthfulness. That is the strength of the youth will come back to your life in Jesus name. In the presence of this zest. You are just an excited person. You are a happy person. And anybody that comes around you. The goodness of the Lord inside you will spill over them in Jesus name. How do I have all this? How do I get all this? How does my life change? So change that everything negative is taken away. Abide in his presence. Abide in his presence. Somebody tell me, abide in his presence. Somebody tell your neighbor there, abide in his presence. Somebody tell my friend over there, abide in his presence. Now somebody tell him, to should tell himself, I will abide in his presence. Point number two now. Abstain from their pollutions. Abstain from their pollutions. The Lord is going to bless you tonight, no doubt. Is going to forgive you tonight, no doubt. Is going to give you salvation tonight, no doubt. Is going to restore you into the fold tonight, no doubt. And from tonight, every bad thing you have done, God will forgive and forget. From tonight, all the carelessness of the past, omission of the past, all the omission in duty, God will forgive and forget. And it will send you forth into the life of victory. And the ministry of victory. Because from tonight, the spirit of the conqueror will continue to move in you. But for that spirit of the conqueror to continue and for the presence of the Lord to continue and for the power of the Almighty God to continue you must not allow the pollutions of the world to come into your life. Deuteronomy chapter 23 I'm reading from verse 14 Deuteronomy 23 verse 14 for the Lord thy God walketh in the midst of thy camp to deliver you, to heal you, to set you free, to bless you, to make you an overcomer, to make you a conqueror, and to give up thine enemies before that before thee. Those enemies that conquered you before today, you'll conquer them from this hour. those things that met you in the dream and pressed you down you couldn't enjoy your life your sleep in the day no rest in the night no rest from tonight you conquer them in Jesus name
but look at this look at this therefore shall thy camp be holy that you see no unclean sin in thee and turn away from thee don't allow any pollution to come in abstain abstain get rid of them I say, uh -uh. no, no, that's not in my life anymore. I used to go there. I cannot go there anymore. I used to drink that. I cannot drink that anymore. I used to smoke that. I cannot smoke that anymore. I used to be in their night something where they deem the light and all that. I'm not for them anymore. When you enter secondary school, you don't go back to primary school. When you graduate out of secondary school and now you're at the university, you don't go to sit in the small desk at the, at the secondary school. When you graduate out of university and you're now a professor, you don't go to sit again with those of that graduates. You are now away from them. God has taken you up and lifted you up you will not go back to those things of the past in jesus name acts of the apostles chapter 15 acts chapter 15 i'm reading from verse 20 but that were right unto them that they abstain from pollutions of idols they abstain from the pollutions of idol worshippers abstain from the pollutions of the gentiles that they abstain from the pollution of idols from fornication and from things strangled and from blood abstain from their pollutions Look at verse 28. For it seemed good to the Holy Ghost and to us to lay upon you no greater body than these necessary things that ye abstain. You see that? That ye abstain. What do you abstain from? You abstain from their abominations. There are things your neighbors do they don't know any better god calls those things abominations and they're rejoicing in them it's like a man that is drunk and the man vomits and then he lies down in the vomit and his rejoice is an excited man he says my friend look at me because you are not drunk, you can see that. Look at the man in the pollution. And so, they have their abominations. Abstain from their abominations. Abstain from their blasphemy. There are things they do, and it is blasphemy in the sight of God. The language they speak, blasphemy. The rituals they offer, blasphemy. The sacrifice to Satan and they think they're sacrificing to God, blasphemy. They take the word of God, they jest and joke on the word of God, blasphemy. They turn the Lord's day to the day of drunkenness, blasphemy. And they sing the songs of Zion in Babylon. Blasphemy. Abstain from their abominations. Abstain from their blasphemy. Abstain from their corruption. You see, if you are going to carry the presence of God. And thank God the presence of God is there now. I said the presence of God is there now. Where is the presence of God? I said, what is the presence of God? The presence of God will go with you. His power will go with you. The anointing that breaks every yoke will go with your life. 
you will abstain from their corruption. You abstain from their defilement. The Lord Jesus Christ tells us the things that defile man. You abstain from the evil. It's an evil world. They do evil. They practice evil. They do they they they, they kind of speak evil. Abstain from their evil. Abstain from their folly. There are things, you know, this is foolishness. There are things a married woman will do and people say, ah, but you're a married woman. This is foolishness. There's something a prince will do, a king will do. They say, but you're a king, you're a prince. This is foolishness. There are things a child of a rich man will do. They say, how could you do this? Your father earns millions and he could easily bless you and you're going to steal 100 naira. This is folly, foolishness. Abstain from their folly. Abstain from their greed. I must have, I must have, I must have. They cheat the poor, I must have. They oppress the poor, I must have. They take the little thing that belongs to people that are unfortunate in life, they're greedy. Abstain from their hatred. Intertribal hatred. Interstate hatred. Interdenominational hatred. Interreligious hatred. And even within the same family, hatred. Within the same church locality, hatred. Abstain from their hatred. Abstain from their injustice. See that there are people, they don't know how to be fair. They don't know how to be just. They don't know how to give people's right unto them. They're always thinking of themselves. Once they're happy, if everybody in the world is unhappy, that's okay for them. I want you to imagine now. We were to come to church here today. And you were happy, excited. And you came running. And you came here. All the other people were so unhappy, they stayed at home. You look right, you look left, you look everywhere. You are the only one, you are the only happy person here. Pastor, not here. Choir, not here. All our people, not here. You are the only happy, happy person here tonight. And everybody stayed back at home. Your happiness will end in misery. The people that have this kind of attitude, I'm the only one to be happy. Live and let others live. Be happy and let others be happy. Enjoy life and let others enjoy life. Abstain from their injustice. Abstain from their jokes. Do you see how some people, educated people, they'll be joking about immorality. They'll be joking about a woman abandoning her husband and going to another man. What kind of joke is that? They'll be joking with the promises of the Bible. They'll be joking with the name of Jesus. Abstain from their jokes. Abstain from their killings. Abortion is murder. It's killing. What if your mother had aborted you? What if your mother did not give you a chance to live? Where would you be today? Do unto others as you want them to do unto you. Abstain from their lies. The world is full of liars. 
I will not be one of them. Our people are quiet. I said, I will not be one of them. I've seen from their mischief. I've seen from their naughtiness. I've seen from their occultism. You see, if you want the presence of God with you, He's saying, I've seen from their pollutions. The things that pollute the people of the world. That's their occultism. Abstain from their pride. The lust of their eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. These are not of God. They belong to the world. He that lives in them will perish over the world. I will not perish over the world. Somebody there, I will not perish over the world. Abstain from their quarrelsomeness. Some people like to quarrel. I, I don't understand. Don't you want peace? Don't you want rest of mind? When you quarrel with your wife, every place is tense. You're quarreling with your husband, every place is tense. We don't know where to put our feet. We don't know when to smile. We don't know when to talk. And when you quarrel with everybody, this one, leave me alone. That one, leave me alone. That one, don't talk to me. That one, I'm angry with you. That one, don't say that again. How are you going to be happy in life? From tonight, you'll become happy. From tonight, your life will be different. And ask yourself, ask yourself, what do you gain when you quarrel? When you make other people unhappy with you, what do you gain? When you make other people frown at you, what do you gain? Turn your life around. Quarreling will stop from today. It's part of their pollutions out there. Abstain from their quarrelsomeness. Abstain from their rebellion. Abstain from their sensuality. Abstain from their treachery. That's what killed Absalom. You will not die before your time. At those stage, you will not die before your time. There is a great future before you. I see the life of a champion there. I see the spirit of the conqueror there. I see that person you are climbing up your mountain. You will get to the peak, to the top in Jesus' name. You don't have time for all these abominations and all these pollutions. From tonight, you have graduated out of that kind of life. A life of triumph. A life of glory. A life of the overcomer. A life of a happy man. A life of a happy woman. Because you abstain from their unfaithfulness. Abstain from unfaithfulness. You abstain from their vanity. The vanity of the world. The vanity of the sinners. The vanity of the unreasonable, unthinking people of the world. Abstain from their wickedness. Abstain from their excesses. Abstain from their yoke. You will not put your neck under anybody's yoke anymore. Somebody there, you're free. Somebody there said you're free. All those yokes are broken tonight in Jesus' name. Look at this, look at this. Abstain from zigzag. Look at the road. Look at that driver driving. It's like this, like this zigzag. They said, is the head of that man correct? You better get out of his way. Don't stay near him. 
Can you zigzag, zigzag? Unstable. Unpredictable. You cannot tell whether it's going to be in the ditch, the following move. Come straight forward. Your life from tonight will be straightforward. All those things that are predictable, unreliable, unfaithful, you abstain from them. And when the Lord sees that you abstain from their pollution, all the windows of heaven will open for you. The gates of glory will open for you. You'll be a man of destiny. A daughter of destiny. Daughters of destiny, are they there? Daughters of destiny, are they there? A fulfillment will come in your life. The power of God will come in your life. All your bodies will be rolled away. You abide in his presence. You abstain from the pollutions. Men of mastery. I said men of mastery. The disciples of dominion. Where are the men? Where are the men? The champions of the day. If there's any champion in the world, those champions are here. The ones that will conquer Goliath. Every giant before you. Men of destiny. I'm looking for them. Men of destiny. I'm looking for the men of destiny. You will conquer those Goliaths in Jesus' name. Why did Christ come to live in your heart? Why did the Holy Ghost come to live in your heart? Why do you carry the presence of the Lord? Why do you carry the power of the Lord? Why did God bring you to the kingdom at such a time as this? Why did he give you the Holy Ghost? Why was Calvary made for you? Why did he shed his blood for you? Why has he forgiven you? Why has he set you free? That what he created for you for on earth you will achieve I said you will achieve you abide in his presence you abstain from the pollutions you are bound in his plenitude you are bound in his plenitude from this very day you'll be a no limit person I was waiting for a good amen from Edo State all the limitations of your life are taken away. In John chapter 10 verse 10. The thief comes not but for to steal, to kill and to destroy. I am calm. I am calm. It's coming to you tonight. I am calm. It's coming to somebody there tonight. I am calm. My friend is coming to you tonight. I am calm. That they might have life. And that they might have it more abundantly. Who wants abundant life right there? Who wants the more abundant life there? It's coming. You are bound in his plenitude. How will that happen? You abide in his attitude. You see, attitude matters a lot. Bad attitude. You see the face of the person, you know, inside him, there's a bad attitude. His posture, you can tell, bad attitude. The way he looks at everybody else and puts them like common thing, like, non like a nobody, you can, he has a bad attitude. No appreciation in his life. But when you come to Christ, you are bound in his attitude. You are bound in his beatitude. Blessed are the meek. Blessed are they that mourn. Blessed are the peacemakers. 
Blessed are do thirst and hunger to righteousness. Blessed are the pure in heart. Abound in his beatitudes. Abound in his character. What will Christ do? That's why the father was with him every time. That's how he opened the eyes of the blind. That's how he made the lame to walk. That's why the spirit of God was with him all the time. The character that will glorify God every time. Abound in his devotedness. The seal of thine house has consumed me. He was an excited person. He was never dull, dreary, weary, carrying himself as if the whole world is over me. He was excited in life. I must be about my father's business. While it is day, I'm the light of the world. And I must do the work of my father that sent me about in his devotedness about in his earnestness he was always earnest he wasn't sluggish he wasn't dragging he wasn't like uninterested in life you see him he was earnest about in his fortitude about in his fortitude you know the people that are always cringing always afraid always watching out there is there something that is going to hurt me if i go in the path of duty jesus said go tell that fox i walk today and tomorrow and the following day everything will be perfected Fortitude, power, inner strength, abound in his fortitude, abound in his gratitude. Father, I thank you, you always hear me. Always thankful, always grateful, abound in his gratitude. That's how to live. This is how power will flow and follow your life every day, every moment in Jesus' name. Abound in his holiness. His language was holy. His life was holy. His interactions were holy. His relationships were holy. His thoughts were holy. Everything he did was holy abound in his holiness abound in his integrity you see you understand an integral number an integral number is a whole number when you have integrity you'll be like an integral number if you don't have integrity you'll be like a fraction you'll be like a fraction and you'll be in a faction but when you have integrity that what people know of you what is the real thing about you there is no make believe there is no pretense there's no hypocrisy you have integrity abound in his integrity you abound in his joyfulness he said, Father, I rejoice because you have hidden these things from those who are learned and wise in their own conceit, but you have revealed them unto babes. About in his knowledge, if you have the knowledge of Jesus Christ, who Jesus is, what Jesus is, what Jesus can do, how mighty and powerful Jesus is. How unconquerable un un Jesus is. Abound in his knowledge. Nothing will be impossible for you. Edo State, amen. Give it to me. 
abound in his loveliness you love jesus christ he never hurt anybody he never offended any reasonable person abound in his loveliness about in his ministry about in his newness about in his obedience about in his purposefulness don't live a day without a purpose carry the presence of god with you but don't carry the presence of god into nothingness let each day have a purpose i'm alive for this purpose i'm living this day for this purpose i'm facing the future with a purpose my life is fulfilled because of a purpose abound in his purposefulness this is how you are going to conquer in life i'm talking to a conqueror there today i'm talking to an achiever there today I'm talking to an overcomer there today. Abound in his qualities. You know, something has quality as worth, as weight. Some lives don't carry weight. Some lives don't have valueless. Some lives are worthless. They depreciate you know some, some things will buy you wash them once it loses value you wash the second time it loses worth you wash the third time it's like it's um, a rag there are people that worth less less they worth less they worth less they worth less as the days go by there's no value in their lives but you want to stand up like a real champion and you say every day will add to the worth and the value of my life because you are bound in his qualities you are bound in his righteousness you are bound in his submissiveness you are bound in his tenderness. Jesus could carry the babies and be tender unto them. He wasn't living a harsh life, a tough life, an intimidating life. He was tender. And if you want to carry authority and power, and if you want to abound in his plenitude you'll abound in his tenderness you're bound in his uniqueness jesus was different from every other person around him he had such a lie and such a mind and such a determination and such a quality of character he was unique don't be afraid to be unique don't be afraid to be peculiar you are bound in his uniqueness you are bound in his virtues the virtue of his character that's what separates you from the common people you are bound in his word let the word of christ abide in you richly teaching and admonishing each other in songs and hymns and spiritual songs singing with melody from your heart about in his exploits he that believeth in me the works I do, he shall do. You'll be like Jesus Christ. I said you'll be like Jesus Christ. No problem will defeat you. No problem will drive you back from duty. The works I do, he shall do. 
and greater works than this shall he do greater works are you there greater miracles are you there greater healing are you there greater deliverance because i go unto the father about in his yieldedness about in his yieldedness father not my will but thine be done you yield to the heavenly father because it is those who have yielded themselves fully the lord will feel you i said the lord will feel you abide in his zeal for the zenith zeal for the heights where are you now my brother i'm in this valley look up do you want to get to that mountain top pastor i'm all right here because i can't make the effort i'm okay in the valley I'm okay in the plain. Everything that comes will trample on you. Those who are staying there in the valley, every liter they dump, they dump everything on your head. Come on, shake yourself from the dust. Come out of that valley. Look at the mountain top. You will come above. They that wait upon the Lord. I said, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength they will mount up with wings as eagles they will run and not be weary somebody there they will run they will not be weary somebody there they will walk and they will not fail. a new journey is coming before you the journey of success the journey of victory give me a dose state amen I said a new journey is coming before you nothing will conquer you anymore all those evil powers they are destroyed in Jesus name because you are going to abide in his presence you are going to abstain from the pollutions and you are going to abound in the plenitude are you ready in those state are you ready in this city are you ready it's bowed and eyes closed it's bowed and eyes closed i'm leading you now to the to the life of power the life of deliverance the life of liberty all the things are crushing the past today you are going to come to the life of victory it's bowed and eyes closed jesus wants to live inside you he says behold i stand at the door and know he wants his presence to be in you right now because it's the presence of god in you that will conquer all the dragon all the dagon that will conquer all the enemies that will make dagon and evil spirit evil past satan to fall away from your life it's bowed and eyes closed. You want Jesus Christ to bring his mighty presence in you right now. You want him to bring the light into your soul. And to bring salvation into your life. Eternal life to come to you right now. And for the presence of God to come mightily in you. He wants to forgive your sin. He wants to give you salvation. He wants to set you free. He wants you now to come so that you can have the presence of the Savior inside you. If you want that presence of the Lord, if you want that salvation of the Lord, if you want that forgiveness from the Lord, if you want that restoration from the Lord, you raise up your hand. You say, yes, Lord, I am the one. Yes, Lord, I am the one. I want that presence of the Lord today. I want that salvation of the Lord today. I want that freedom today. I want all these chains that bind me to be totally broken. Where are you? You will raise up your hand. Inside on my right. 
inside to my left inside in the front of me outside there wherever you are you raise up that hand that presence will come right now if you're raising up your hand you will stand up if you're raising up your hand to say yes lord i'm here yes lord i'm here yes lord i'm here yes lord i'm here i want your presence i want your forgiveness i want the new life right in me now wherever you are you will stand up outside there the lord is waiting for you you abandon all those pollutions i forsake all those pollutions i forsake all the idolatry i forsake all the superstition i forsake all the tradition i forsake all those evil things jesus i open my heart come in come in today come in to stay let your presence come into me right now and forgive all my sins tell the lord and forgive all my sins you will do it now you will do it now open your heart it says behold i stand at the door and knock if anyone hears the knocking and opens the door i will come into him i will fellowship with him let him come in let him come in let him come in in jesus name we pray again give me an edo state amen keep up your hand and keep on standing inside outside wherever you are i'm going to pray with you now and as to open the door of your heart say jesus i want you as my savior you will enter right now father in jesus name i pray for all who are raising up their hands and standing and they say they abandoned the ways of evil and they abstain from all those evil things and they want you to enter into them and they want you to forgive them and they want you to save them forgive them in jesus name wash away all their sins take guilt and condemnation away from them save them lord save them lord restore them lord bring them into the fullness of your grace let your spirit bear witness in their hearts that they are now children of god thank you lord thank you lord you are forgiving them thank you lord you have saved them thank you lord in jesus name we pray and everybody said hey, please keep on standing our counselors will get to you right there we rejoice with you because you have opened the door of your heart and the presence of the lord has now come in that presence of will give you victory everywhere you go we we'll call on our state pastor pastor godwin to help us with the counseling session now please counselors in each of the sessions outside who have been divided please quickly just give them the the sleeves if they cannot write please write for them Please write in capital letters. If they have phone, write a phone number. Cross check that they are 11 digits. Ask them if they are from Benin City or from the out locations so that we can put the right address. Also put the quarters, Olia quarter, Uzebu quarter. Please put it properly so that the streets relating to the quarters so that we can trace the address. Let's be fast. Every group will have been assigned to the various places. Let's do that quickly. 
and those group coordinators once you are true in your group please signify so that i will know that you are true please quickly quickly write your name your village and then put the local government you know we have some villages that have the same name but in different local governments so please if you are from out locations you put your local government if you are in Benin City, you know we have the same street in different quarters so that we will not confuse those streets or those numbers. Please, let's take note. Let's be quick. God bless you as you are doing that. Please, and as you are writing their name, give them the package. There are tracts in that package and there is a letter inviting you to a special banquet on sunday we're having that banquet 2 p.m at ekewan road for those of us in benin city for others from the out locations Igwabazoa, we have okada and then we have olukuda's adolor region we have Abudu, that's Akube region, and then we have Epoma in Epoma region, and then we have Urumi in Urumi region, and then Afuz, uh, we have Afuze in Owa region, then Auchi in Auchi region, Opila in Opila region, and then Igara in Igara region, and then Ibilo in Ibilo region. We are having the banquet at the same time on Sunday by 2 p.m in these various headquarter locations of deeper life bible church please ensure that you are there let's write quickly and for those of us who will attend the banquet there's a special book written by the pastor specially for you we are going to give it to you on sunday as you come don't means that book we are going to give one to you it's a special gift from the pastor he loves you and he wants you to grow in an accelerated manner in your spiritual life so come and experience the power of god and we want you to be steadfast in your christian life that book will expose you how you can grow let's be quick please when you are true I want signal from each of those sessions, please. The coordinating uh, pastors, please, you just want to signify to me. Our pastor is filled with the power of God and is waiting to release the anointing and the power of God on you. Today, I am more than a conqueror. I'm not hearing you. Something great is about to happen. You have seen it before, but this one is a new way. Because the glory of the latter house shall be more than the former. God is about to do a new thing. A better amen. Please be expectant. Blind eyes that will get open. Lame will be walking. Those that are paralyzed, their hands will stretch out. All those confusion in your heart they be diffused and they be removed immediately. Quick, quick, those deaf ears will be unstopped. The tongue that is tied will be loosed. Any satanic affliction is going away. Please give me signal. Give me signals if you are true. We are waiting for you. Hall five. And those who are outside, please let's do the same. The coordinating pastors in each of those sections. I want you to please come and signify, Brother Jagboye, please quickly, we want information. I'm not seeing any response. Hall 5 outside, and then Hall 4 outside also. Please let me know. The back of Hall 3 and outside, please let me know. Hall 2 outside, let me also know. Hall 1, if you are true, you just come to the front and wave your hand at me. I'm not seeing any hand. Please, let's be quick ensure that your name is written down if you raise up your hand when pastor prayed 
this is the greatest of all miracles that of salvation i congratulate you because you are saved is the greatest is a foundational experience so don't sit down until your name is recorded the angels are rejoicing in heaven be just because of you so write down your name happily and joyfully correct names correct phone numbers they must be 11 digits correct address please put the quarters if you are living in benin city or the villages you came from out location let's be fast I'm waiting for us for five and outside I need information you just come to the front and wave at me and say we are true I'm waiting and as you collect those slips please let's give to your leader there who will hand it over to the person coordinating generally please quickly quickly let's do that a test message will be sent to you 48 hours from now latest also congratulating you and inviting you also to the banquet i'm waiting for the hands at the back of of five please let's come out and tell me if they are true pastor is seated loaded they want to offload the power on you please let's be quick let's be quick tonight is a night of jubilation your amen is called i'm waiting for you please i'm waiting for information let's be quick let's be quick conquering people shout amen, amen. i need information please i'm not seeing any response if we are finished in our five let somebody the coordinator there if you can't consent somebody to come and just wave your hand at me so tell me that you are finished what of all four the outside please let's be quick let's write their names quickly quickly the time is slipping away be quick at the back of all three please let's go there we are waiting for you okay yes information in Jose. god bless you you are doing a good job what of all two i'm not seeing a okay god bless you what okay that is good or one is true I'm not seeing her four, her four, and at the back, the language session. I'm waiting for you now. Her five, I'm not seeing anybody. And at my back, if you are finished, just come out over here to her five and wave at me quickly. Okay, God bless you. Her five is, is, is done. What of her uh, four? I'm not seeing any person there. Her four, and the extension outside. Please, her four, I'm waiting for you quickly, quickly. And at my back over here, that is. The side of her five if you are finished just come out and wave your hand her four we are waiting for you where are you the leaders there please let's be quick you are you are holding us back Kelichu. let's be fast let's be fast her four and the extension outside please quickly we are waiting for you write down their names please cross check the names and the address and the phone numbers please or four am i seeing any hand being waved there quickly let's see what is happening in her four and the back let's be quick let the head usher go there and help us out quickly 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 while waiting write on their names something good is about to happen her four we are waiting the outside of all four i know we are many over there please let's be fast if you are finishing her five and her three let's join them so that we will we'll not waste much time please let's join them to help them write the names don't leave them there let's be fast i'm waiting for a response the remaining her four and the, the people outside let's join them workers in each of those other sessions please let's just go there quickly and help them to write their names those who are standing we are waiting let's be quick 
Tonight, God is about to do wonders. And he's a God of wonders. Are you ready to receive? Shout a louder yes. It will come to you. For four, we are waiting for you. Are you waving at me there? I'm not seeing any hands. Please, let's be quick. Let's join them. Let's join her four on the outside. They are the one remaining. Please, let's quick, quick, quick. Let's join them. All those workers that are there, join them. Maybe some of the choir, let's, we can please quickly go into this hall four on the outside, please. Let's join them. Quick. God bless you. Walk quickly, quickly, quickly. Walk smartly. Just go back to hall four and the, that outside. Let's quickly write down here. When they are through, you just come and wave your hand at me. We are waiting. Once you finish writing the, their names, collect it and give to the supervisor in that uh, area, in that group there, please. And then he will in turn give it to the overall leader. And collision should start immediately. How far we are waiting? And on the outside, we are waiting. Tonight, God will bless me. I say tonight, God will bless me. Say it for yourself. Something good is about to happen. Just be expectant. I'm seeing lame people jumping up already. I'm seeing those that are walking sick, they are up already. If you're on a wheelchair in the front there, congratulations. That wheelchair will be abandoned today. You are not carrying it home. I see it's abandoned. All right, God bless you. Her fall is true now. I think we are, we are all right now. The pastor has come. Praise the Lord. Somebody there is waiting for a miracle. And the miracle will get to you there. Your blind eyes will open. Those short legs will grow out in Jesus' name. Broken bones will be joined together. And those who are lame, you'll rise up in the strength of the Lord. And those who brought deaf and dumb people, they will hear, they will speak. Tumors will vanish away. Cancer will vanish away. Incurable disease will be healed. You'll be joyful and happy as you go back home. Why is somebody waiting for the miracle there? You've got it. Father, in Jesus' name. We thank you because you are mighty God. Where your presence is, dragons will fall. Satan will fall. Sicknesses will vanish away. Mountains will move away. There is nothing too hard for you to do. For with you all things are possible. That's why we come tonight expecting great things to be done from you. Touch every life in Jesus' name. The spirit of insanity, I command you, madness, come out in Jesus' name. Epilepsy, come out in Jesus' name. All those tormenting spirits are walking about in the body with all those attacks, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. anything called incurable disease that cancer i command you be healed in jesus name also be healed in jesus name pal be healed in jesus name diabetes be healed in jesus name i command that high blood pressure be healed in jesus name HIV AIDS be healed in Jesus name I command that all that issue of blood will dry up right now in Jesus name 
Ashma be healed in Jesus name that are near vanish away in Jesus name fibroid disappear in Jesus name and all the swelling in your body I command come out in Jesus name Lord I pray for those who are deaf and dumb I pray you open their deaf ears and lose their tongue, 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 tongues set them free to hear and to speak in Jesus name those who are blind I pray you touch their eyes right now glaucoma vanish away in Jesus name cataract vanish away in Jesus name every form of blindness whatever is the cause of that blindness or the cause of that dimness of sight Lord touch their eyes heal them right now take the blindness away let them see clearly in Jesus name I pray for those who are lame paralyzed in any way having stroke having polio having one leg shorter than the other or their bones are broken I pray you stretch forth your mighty hand touch them and heal them set them free let power come to every part of their body they'll rise up and walk normally in Jesus name whatever sickness whatever infirmity here tonight whatever mountain whatever cause whatever yoke break everything destroy everything in Jesus name you're free you're healed you're delivered you've got your miracle to my left to my right in front of me everyone outside be healed in Jesus name you're delivered in Jesus name you've got your miracle in Jesus name thank you father because I know it's done I know it's done I know it's done in Jesus name I pray amen you got it I got it I got it you're healed you're delivered you're set free you'll do what you are not able to do before and as you see miracle you shall praise the Lord and we're going to rejoice with you it is done check yourself once you see it just say praise the Lord our counselors and our ushers please where you are before as you see them just bring them out it has started there it has started praise the lord there's jubilation in that hall there bring them out please bring them to the front of our five it has happened. It has happened. The front of all five, all five, all five, all five. Please, all one check up. As you see, you say, Praise the Lord. Those of us who are outside. It is happening. Once you see it, you bring them out. Quickly, quickly. Those of us who are outside. Once your own happens, say praise the Lord and will rejoice with you. Joy of jubilation. Joy of jubilation. Or five. At the back of our five. We will listen to testimony tonight. Miraculous things have taken place. Check yourself. If you are sitting down, 
get up now the power is on your body there you will start walking if you brought somebody that is deaf and dumb just speak to them they will respond instantly quickly or two we are waiting for you or one we are waiting for you once you see the miracle take place just say praise the lord and come out while listening to the testimony you don't need to rush home the bosses are there waiting for you let's be interviewing them let's give them seat to sit down let's be quick let's bring them out all three we are waiting for you once you see the miracle in your body say praise the lord they will escort you out if you need to go to the privacy to check these are toilet by my right and by my left just go inside and check all those swell in the private area they are all gone check your guilta in the neck or whatever any swollen is gone the blind eyes they should open right now please check them up and bring them out once you see them say praise the lord quickly quickly we are listening to the testimony tonight don't rush home the bosses are waiting for you please if we have interviewed any while we are sharing the testimony then other will still be coming so that who can listen to them check up the power is being released in the entire camp and the surrounding you cannot live here without a miracle god has deposited something great in your body quickly quickly If God have done your own ushers or the people who are there in that group, bring them out to this or five. Or five is by my left hand side. Okay. Praise the Lord. What was that? You are cold. I said, Praise the Lord. What was that? The message the pastor preached tonight is available on DVD. You want to have a copy, please? You meet the electronics, they will give you your copy. Please come out quickly to come and join them if god has saved you you want to you know that you are truly saved that is the greatest of all testimony you want to hear you because the angels are rejoicing with you quickly let's bring them out please we should not crowd the place the security should help us maintain orderliness you will see the people on the screen don't waga, worry waga have, uh, to those that are ready will want to hear the testimony they can come here and share the testimony quickly Please, striking verifiable testimony let's interview them properly let's be fast if we have done with any of them striking one they can come so that we'll start with that as we are listening and they are cross-checking others you also look at yourself God has touched you. When the pastor pray, 
God will always answer and God must answer and tonight is not an exception great things are be done we are waiting quickly we want to listen to the first one electronics come and make mic available please where are you where is the mic? Quick, quick, quick. You tell us your name. Where you came from, quickly. Praise the Lord. My name is Chinna Inokarolo Anyamudike Eze. Dead for yesterday. Where did you come from? I came from Ururam, Igbo girl. From Imo states. Day before yesterday night, when I was sleeping, I have an attack in my right ear. First of all, most the attack, I have it month of April this year before. I cannot hear with it till the month of May. I even run to my daddy's company to go and see him, which is this Johnson Arum MS farm. Because he's the one that it normally used to take care of me whenever I have an attack like that in my body. And they normally used to work for me with white men. They normally used to operate my ears when I have an attack like that. So I went to my daddy's farm. I could not meet anybody. I did not see him. There's no way to meet him. They say he's not around. He's not even in Nigeria. Go ahead. So I now went tonight. back. And the pain was very so much. I was praying over it. I cry unto God. God not take it away from me that month of May. So I was surprised again. Dead for yesterday night. The same thing come back again and it deft my ear. Even today that we are coming to the program, I could not even hear with my ear, even the, the left ear. It was even trying, something wanted to affect my right, my left ear also. I told some of the mommy I met at Better Fit today, at Urura. Say my ear is paining me. I cannot hear with my ear. She said, God will do it for what the one of the mom now, that I met. As you came. So as I came today, as that is point, this very last prayer. God approached the, the something away from Another me. One there. Now I can hear with my ear. And the pains inside has gone. Praise the Lord. Tell her whether she can hear. Just speak to her quietly. Oh, look, Where is it? It? Which ear now? Which is the ear? My right ear. Okay, just say something close whether she will hear you. Oh, Tell her. Oh, just that her say, Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Oh, that ear permanent healing has come in jesus name a honey next, next, next. please don't tell us your name you. where you came from Here. praise the lord praise the lord my names are brother benjamin obidike i from where i live at uh, number 16b obase of mission up off upper mission road that is my house praise the lord i want to testify what the lord has done for me this evening i was traveling this year to my village my sister was calling me to come so i was traveling after the december retreat i said let me travel she was calling me to come i don't want to go before bed she was calling me calling me calling me so and i decided to go bed which from all i can say that it what will go. happened quickly go to the point let me okay the point is that i as i was traveling i have an accident so my leg got broken so um this is the time about three people have handled the how long has it been this year january uh, january 3rd so but as we came this evening after the man of god pray I have the faith that today God is going to do my own. And by the grace of God, I test myself and I see that I can walk. You can walk. Walking. Can you again. try now? Can you walk up and down? Let us see. Praise the Lord. Oh, that pain will never come back again. That clutch is abandoned in Jesus' name. Oh, is that the much you can clap for Jesus? Oh, next, next, next. Next. I will know you saw it be. Next, we know it's 
if he cannot come too far please let's not stress him much they can turn the camera to him give him the mic don't stress him too much god bless you your name sir go ahead praise the lord uh, my name is uh, peter Alade. where did you come from i come from from abo data so uh this leg during the time of uh, april i climbed and uh, i fall I fall down and i uh, break the leg and uh, when i break the leg now i stay more than more than two weeks two weeks before my daughter uh, is at a, a cardalo under a marriage what now happened to you today so i i can't i can't call her say see your what father happened to you today I, as you I, came I here fall from up is a story uh, i've come i fall from up now my daughter say okay quickly come uh, yeah okay praise the lord she her daughter was married at a care the lord he came to visit her as he had the accident that she fell from up and this morning now i saw him in our house he said we are going to the program I say yes he walked with this stick to our house then my pastor asked me to take him down to the program he, we walked this, with this stick to this camp camp till now that when the prayer is going on when the man of god made sure the case the papa stood up and jumped up and praise the lord, praise the lord. That, that work is sick is abandoned it's for, the, it's for the devil carry it away let them go remove from our altar let them trace out the bush you are healing jesus name papa is well with you next next tell us your name praise the lord my name is Obayuana Ogbede Omori. By the grace of God, I'm born again. My testimony is like this. For up to two years now, I've been having this uh, moving object on my throat. If I go out for my evangelism, it's like the thing wants to what, come out. But if I eat food during the afternoon or the evening, the thing will, like, will go inside back. And uh, at times the object normally make me to gather saliva, which is spit. And uh, the thing was even troubling me when I came into this camp. And uh, when our man of God was uh, praying, I believed that the thing just left me. And I didn't even notice it. That Praise the Lord. Is gone in Jesus' name. Let's clap for Jesus. The next, please, next. Striking testimony, striking testimony. Let's go this way. Oh, no, I did, yeah. Yes, God bless you. Quickly. Yes, your name. Praise the Lord. I'm Brother Abraham. Where did you come from? I came from uh, Ego, Apata Junction. By the special grace of God, God has called me and shaped me and made me is I attended Bible Believers Tabernacle. He got before uh, he got market. This my leg has been for over 13 years. No, not no hot, nothing else. So I just come out, and this all I be to UBTH. I be to other private hospitals i have been to native surprisingly when this leg is too sore on the both side of this my right leg they will nearly go and come back so what happened other, to you tonight what was you when, I came, when i was coming here i came with this stick to support myself as I sat down here, the leg aching me. 
But I believe God is here to, to what touch me today. What happened? So when the man of God was praying, I shook my leg. And I found that the pain has subsided. I dropped my stick. I can walk. One sister said, Baba, just go. And I dropped my stick. I walk down here. It was that Praise sister the Lord. Lord is is, that stick is abandoned and that leg is healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's clap for Jesus. Any other one? Any other one? Quickly, quickly. Your name. Praise the Lord. My name is Ruth Peter. I thank God that I'm a born again. What, uh, what is my testimony is I always feel headache, strong headache. Then this headache always worry me to the extent that my eye will dark. Then I will be hearing the sound from my ear as if they are hitting me with hammer. He has this headache of guys over two years, maybe uh, more than two years. Self, then I'll be praying on this that God should deliver me. Then yes, uh, we came since uh, yesterday. I said that I will sit down in the front. Immediately, any time I see our father that this head will not follow me back to my house again. Even this afternoon, when I sit down there, I'm still hearing the sound. Then I say, you this headic, you are not for me again, that you are a liar, that today he will end. Immediately, our daddy come outside there, I shout praise the Lord. That time, we are waving our hand. Before that time, self, I did not hear the headache again. Praise the Lord. It is God. The healing is perfected in Jesus' name. God has done great things for us today. Quickly, quickly, quickly. And the sea check all because the power is moving all over. Some of you discover that when you wake up tomorrow, you become a new being. Praise the Lord. My name is Victoria Michael at BIU Church. Since three months now, I have. I have typhoid, fever, and serious cough. My church has pain. Everybody has pain a lot. When the drugs stop, it will continue again. But by the glory of God, when I come to the camp, the last prayer of our daddy, because yes, we can say yesterday, when I go to, I go to do S. Yesterday, but today, God has helped me to do the, the S. The S3, when I was daddy, the last enemy, he shares our pain. I don't used to cough because I used to have cough like a pregnant woman that used to put my feet. Praise the Lord! That cough is gone and you are healed in Jesus' name. A better amen. Next, 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 quickly. God God bless you. The miracle is following you. Home. Yes, you will never forget, forget on the miracle is following you home. You will never forget on the sixth of September when God visited you through the ministration of our dear Father in the Lord. Go ahead. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Your name. My name is Sister Maria Abu. I fellowship at Igorak, your Basua region. I thank God for what God has done for me. Uh, uh, that's uh, January 10, uh, 2016. I was going to ask her fellowship, so I, I have an accident. I broke this in my hand. Since then, they have been treated the hand different places. There is no solution. I use this rod to tie the hand to come. So God was praying. I was trying to remove it. I said, no, if I remove it, I cannot control the hand. So I removed the hand. I carried the hand. Look at it. I think you can see now. Praise the Lord! The Lord is God that do for me, will do for everybody. Your so healing. That hand is perfectly whole. We're born in the hand. I'm one. Any other one? We're rounding up. Any other one? I'm going to fall now. I'm going to fall now. 